An MVP or minimal viable product is defined as a basic version of the app you're trying to build with the goal of testing this idea. And if you've read any sort of business or startup book, MVP is plastered all throughout it. And the reason why is because an MVP is actually very no pun intended, valuable. And honestly, if you think about it, on the one hand, you could either go 10 to 12 months hoping that you have a good idea, hoping you're building out the right features, and you're just spending all that time in solitude and not getting a guarantee that the features and products you are building is actually viable for people to pay for. Or on the other hand, you can spend that 10 to 12 months building out that exact same product, but you are talking to customers, you're getting the right feedback on your product and adjusting accordingly based off your ideal customers. And I think if you go down the second path, you're more likely to build out a product because you've engaged with your community, you've adjusted accordingly, and you're quickly iterating towards a ideal product. And with that said, I'm building out a gamified version of self-improvement. It's gonna be this app where you're competing with others, gaining XP and leveling up your character every time you do good habits. And since I don't wanna build out another app that makes me zero dollars, building out an MVP is very, very important. And so what I like to talk about is what the app looks like in an MVP stage, the features I'm building, the coding process, and finally, the things I'm doing to iterate and improve based off the user feedback. And so I'm just gonna give you a quick little demo of what the MVP looks like right now. Um, you're basically greeted with this very basic landing page where you have your own character, your own username, your own progress bar with the amount of XP at the top here. You also have a little cool little dashboard here. And so every time you do a good habit, right, you just have to click start timer, pick a time of how long you wanna do your habit. So if you wanna do it for two hours, maybe you're at the gym, put it at like 120, I put, I put that as the max. But let's say you put it at one minute, um, I'm going to speed this up just so you uh, see what happens at the end. So now we're at the countdown. Nine, eight, seven. I feel like I'm a freaking spaceship going up to space. Three, two, one. And once that's done, you get this notification saying how much XP you got. And this is a feature I'm actually working on, but it's not auto updating. So I have to refresh. And so now we went from 4 XP to 5 XP. And so that's just the gist of the app and the app is basically just broken down I'd say into four main components. The first being authentication and auth is one of those things that's like super annoying. In my previous apps, I'd spend three weeks building out uh, my own auth with like auth.js and next auth. I don't know what it is anymore. And to be honest, I don't really want to take care of something like that at this stage. And so what I did is I totally ditched all my auth and moved to Clerk Auth as my auth provider. And I know what you're gonna say, Nizzy, isn't this gonna cost you a lot of money? No, like firstly, I'm in, I'm in the early stages, so there's not a lot of users to begin with. And secondly, it only goes up as the number of users go up. So let's say I were like 100,000 users, I'm already generating monthly recurring revenue at that point. So why? worry about that because we can just easily pay it off. So I don't really see the point worrying about something like this. And you know, I used to use Clerk Auth in my previous apps, but I just didn't like the UI, but I kind of grew out of that phase and stopped worrying about that. And I actually saw an app by Josh Stride Coding. He built out an app called Crotus IO, which is an awesome app. Um, and he was using Clerk Auth in it and he almost has a finished product. It just gave me an idea like, why do I have to worry about Auth when I can focus on the main features? And I think that's what the main point of building it out in MVP is. Okay, that's enough talking about Auth for the month. I just hate it. Um, the next things I wanted to talk about are the main features. And the first thing I wanted to show you is the pixel art. People honestly really love this idea. And we'll get into like the iteration improvement. And this is actually a feature I did not want to build in the first place. And all I did to make this is actually very complicated is download a PNG file from the internet. I'm sorry if this busted your bubble of the complexities of an app. I did not want to spend time at all building out and designing an XP boost thing or like, sorry, a, a pixel art thing that I don't know was going to work. I literally just looked it up on the internet. I think you can find this as like one of the first searches of like dude pixel art. And the main goal with this, obviously, I'm 100% going to do this is I'm either going to uh, get like a subscription service where like, you know, you have access to a bunch of pixel art or I design my own or I hire someone. Um, I think that's the, the best route to go now. I need to invest in this because people love this feature. Another feature I implemented is the XP. Now this one was a bit more complicated to use. I'm more heavily invested into the front end as that's what I do at my job. And so trying to implement this was not the easiest thing to do. But luckily after like three days of coding, I was able to put in a system 
that is able to track the user's XP and give users XP as per the amount of time that they put in. And honestly, initially, I was just going to make it one XP for any amount of time. Like if you put in 120 minutes and you finish that or one minute, you were either way going to get one XP. But I thought that was too simple and not enough to engage with the users. And so what I did was implement a one XP per minute system where obviously for every minute that the user works, they get one XP. And if you wanna know the logic behind this, cause I actually think this is really cool. I think this is like the core of the business. I'm basically associating a XP field to the user's ID. So they obviously have to log in before using this app. And then every time they implement a time, so let's say they choose 20 minutes, I take that time, call an API called increment, and then convert that minute into an XP. And once the timer is done, I call it and then push it to the user's ID and increment their XP accordingly. Shout out ChatGPT. Another feature I'm adding is a leaderboards thing. I haven't done it yet, but I really want to add it. This is one of the more original features. The Forest app does this where you can see where you are amongst all the users. So even if you're like a thousandth, um, you can see where you are and where you rank amongst other people. And it just, it makes you want to try harder. And so it, it leads to more engagement on the app, which we obviously want. Pretty cool feature that I definitely want to add in the future. And so great. You now know what an MVP app looks like. It looks like shit. It looks like it could need a lot of fixing, undone features like you saw with I had to refresh to show the XP and most definitely not a finished product, but an MVP is not a finished product to begin with. You're just building out something so that users can test. And speaking of that, let's talk about how I'm using user feedback to adjust the app to hopefully gain users one day. And so of course the first number one important thing I'm doing is having the pixel art be more dynamic and having better pixel art. People loved the pixel art and I think going down that road of visually beautiful UI is going to be the biggest seller of this app. And honestly, this is the greatest example of why MVP is really important. I did not think people would want this to begin with. Like initially the app was just going to be a leaderboard and then uh, you're showing your XP for that user. But I actually got recommended this on Discord. I thought it was a brilliant idea and I quickly implemented it and people just loved it. And so that's just my number one priority. Another thing is the UI. I need to fix it up. I know black and white is just, it's really weird. I might even just go with like a white background with like a cool little mesh gradient. I can really take this in many different ways, but UI is really important. I really need to work on that. And in terms of theory, a lot of what people have been saying that I need to adjust, you know, based off the user feedback, is turning this game more personal rather than a competitive game. Rather than taking this down the competing with other sec, I want it to be a more personal game where you have your own character and then level him up over time to be something that you also want to be. Again, at one point I wanted this to be a community app. Like I was about to have a co-founder and we were going to go down that route. A lot of people did not want that and they wanted a more personal thing. So obviously I'm going to adjust based on what people are telling me to do. So it's going to be a personal thing. And what this would mean is like getting personal rewards, having more characters to unlock. I don't know. While also having the leaderboards, but having it as a side feature rather than a main feature. Again, I'm just taking what the users are telling me on Line, Twitter and Discord and then implementing it. Um, I don't know whether these ideas will be here by the end of the final product in a few months, but I think listening to the user feedback is way better than what I would have an idea for. Obviously, I want my own ideas to be implemented, but if there's a way to improve on that idea, I'm always going to take the user's feedback. And I know for sure by the end of the MVP phase, um, the app is going to look way different than it does right now. But I think the main things to focus on in an MVP is to have an open mind only focus on main features and iterate quickly. And I think if I focus on those two things, I will have a great and monetizable product by the end of this. But there's still a long way to go, but I've just been having a lot of fun building up this product. People are liking it, I'm liking it, so yeah. And so yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, I want you to comment two kiss emojis, that way I know that you made it to the end of this video. I will respond because you did make it to the end of this video, so make sure you comment. Also, make sure you join the Discord. We have over a thousand developers in there with awesome people talking about basically every subject manageable, entrepreneurship, coding, personal life stuff. So it's just a lot of fun. And if you want to join a community, then that's available to you. Also, please hit the like button and subscribe. It would honestly really go a long way and also cost you nothing. And you made it in this video. So you obviously enjoyed this. And so yeah, happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.